Man, shout out to those brave people who got in there and took action when dude was trying to attack that lady or whoever he was trying to attack. <clears throat> it's sad that, you know what I'm saying, she grew apart from something that she no longer loved as well as it felt like it wasn't helping her in her life. And this is how this motherfucker decided to handle it. Now, it's sad when you have to be careful who to love, how to love. And if you're not receiving what you want that can help you, that you have to worry about shit like this. You know, domestic violence, that shit is so fucking serious, you know what I'm saying? And I wish there's something that could be done about it. Um, rest in peace to this little girl. Uh, she was found dead Friday and a FedEx driver was out doing dirt. Kidnapped her, killed her. He definitely in custody and being held on a $1.5 million bill. Which if you ask me, doing some shit like this, he don't need to be having no goddamn bill. He just needs to sit his ass down for being stupid and demonic, crazy, fucking all that negative bullshit wrapped into one. Because she's a seven year old. You shouldn't be thinking like this towards anybody anyway. So, you know, that's another thing he needs to sit his ass down on. Just for the simple fact that he kidnapped someone and then he, you know, did what he did. A Detroit man shot and killed another man because he was upset that he held an elevator for a group of women and let them on first. Now you act yourself as a man. You supposed to motherfucking do that type of shit anyway for women, you know what I'm saying? But not only is this fucked up that he lost his life, this shit happened in front of his little brother and his two sons' mother, you know what I'm saying? So think about how fucked up they is over something like this where he be an example to his little brother of how to treat a woman, how to treat a lady. And this is just so fucked up that you can't even be nice and polite without somebody having some type of hatred towards it, feeling you're supposed to be negative and demonic and all this bullshit just like them. So y'all need to be careful out here. I don't know exactly where this happened at, but I do know this man and this dog attacked somebody that was just walking by. And as we seen by the subtitles on what, he was just a magician walking. He must have been a known man because I didn't see any, you know, instruments with him. So I'm assuming he must be known. But anyway, besides that, that's not the case. The case is y'all need to be careful because it's a lot of evil people out here. And it seems like this hate shit is something that's starting to pick up and to make people, you know, want to get involved or feel it or worship it or whatever fucked up thing they could be doing towards it. Um, Y'all just be careful. Y'all can see the date. So this is definitely recent. You might be hearing a lot about RSV. It's a virus that's been in the news a lot recently because cases are spiking, but don't panic. It's nothing new and actually pretty common. It's a respiratory virus, just like the flu, just like COVID. Like with most viruses, kids under two and people over 65 are most at risk, but they aren't the only ones who can get it. RSV can infect anyone. It can infect kids, it can infect teenagers, young adults, and even older people as well. So if you're a teenager or young adult, the good news is, you know, odds are you're gonna have just a mild illness just like any other um, respiratory virus, any common cold, basically. So do you now need to worry about getting COVID, the flu, and RSV? Theoretically, you could have all of them at once. Is it likely? No. 
You know, there's an interesting thing here called viral interference. I mean, so this is basically, you know, a fancy way of saying that one virus tends to win out. And so one virus takes center stage while the other ones kind of take a back seat. So the only way to really tell the difference is a test. You can have a runny nose, a sore throat, a cough. But with RSV specifically, what can be unique is that you can have wheezing. While there isn't a vaccine to defend against RSV, there are some things you can do. The best way to prevent it, you know, is really stay home if you're sick. It's okay to bring the masks back. I know nobody's really wearing the masks anymore, but if you're around somebody who's sick, it's, it's okay to put one on again.